Guys, I got a nice little treat for you guys. Alfred Montana here. We're here at Alamar. I got Wally, Carlos, and Jose here. We're doing something very interesting that a lot of people have asked us for. Um, sometimes we get scenarios where people are in other countries or in other states that don't have access to have someone install one of these rib tubes, okay? So we're trying to go ahead and show you guys how we would send you a tube and kind of like a tutorial of how we would install it so you can install exactly what we sent, okay? I don't recommend this if you have access to people that can install this because it's not easy. We'll make it look easy. Um, so it's, it's always better for a professional to do it. But if you were to come to do it, we're showing you the, the whole process, okay? So if that's something that interests you, take a look at this video. Um, and we're gonna go step by step. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. And let's do it. Now, you can see how elegant this boat's going to look with that arctic gray, gray bottom and that white up top. I, I like, I like two tones. They do cost more guys, they do, but I, I personally like them. All my, my personal boats that I uh, have will all have two tones, most of them, unless I go dark completely and, I, and then I have to worry about you know, heat and stuff like that for the, for the two. That's it. Now we put it on there, we're gonna work it, we're gonna put it, and we'll start working it. All right guys, so we're tightening up the valves on this boy now. We'll start marking it now to see where everything goes. It's gonna look nice, real, real nice. Same thing here. Um, this is the first one we tightened. I'm making fun of my phone, but I don't care. All right, you see this two-tone? All right. So now we're starting to take off everything so we can start installing this. Don't act like you're working, bro. You're not, you know you're not working. All right. Dude, guys, I'm sorry. I, I have to apologize. We're a reputable business. We really are. All right. So listen, we just put it on here. <laughs> Let me tell you, this guy's gonna be really, really happy with this boat. It's gonna look really nice. All right, so essentially I'm getting bashed right now, but that's fine. Everybody's making fun of me because I don't have an iPhone. My Galaxy Note 9. There you go, perfect example, right there. So everything is just going crazy because I have to use my phone right now to, to record. But whatever, long story short, I got a Galaxy Note 9 that overheats when it's more than like a minute, two minutes doing video so I can't really use it so I'm basically jumping up and down here at the shop just getting live so um, I guess iPhone people have one up on the Android people today but I'm still trying to work on my Pixel that's my phone that I like to get but whatever it is what it is um, when you hear Jose crying and making a scene that's him making fun of my phone <laughs> all that that's it because I have to literally put this phone now which is actually going to go now into the freezer so, things that happen out of the My Galaxy, what, bro? What? My Galaxy is in the eye. Oh, it's a Macamon Galaxy. This is gonna be all day, bro. Hey, that's like the first four things he's ever said in English. All right, listen. Carlos, toe. Right? This is where they're gonna have to line it up. Come on, bro. Look. Uh, it's gotta be the, the, the toy needs to be the center of the tube. In this case, here you have the baffle, which is you know a guide where the center of the tube is. So it's easier, but sometimes you don't even have the baffle in here. So you have to measure from the center to both sides and make sure that the tube is centered. You don't think everybody can do this, right? Be realistic not, and not, honest. Not everybody. Be, 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 let's be honest because 
No. You know, sometimes people think, oh, wait, we're seeing it done. No. You, okay, because we, what we would hate for you to make a huge investment on one of these tubes, and then all of a sudden you try to do it yourself and you mess it up, you know? So, look, we'll ship you guys anything. You guys pay for whatever you want, and you can... Oh, hey, Galaxy! Sorry, sorry, bro. Listen. He's deflating it now because he's going to go ahead and position it better. Go, go, go. Come on. Let's go. Let's show them. Come on. Seriously. Hey, let's get ser serious. Galaxy. Look, Come on. Next step, you have to make sure that both sides are at the same distance back here. So this is eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters. Beautiful. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Eight and three quarters. Okay, mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so it's perfect. It's perfectly aligned. All right. We're here. I, I mean, if you have help, that's obviously better. If you have someone that can help you, you know. Um, but this is essentially what we've done. We've tied the, the back of the tube to this here now. Don't be a Jose. Jose, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, no. Jose, uh, Jose. Vamos a apagar el galaxy. He's gonna cool down my phone. Hey, it's lasting longer now that I, I took down the brightness. Oh my god, my galaxy. So here, here's the marking, okay? Oh, sorry about that. The marking is going on, all right? Talamacate. No. Okay, we're positioning it right now so we can mark the boat exactly where it needs to be, okay? So we're lining it up right now as if it's going to be there. So now we take the line, we have to make it. We moved a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta measure again to make sure because we moved the front. No, I don't quite. ¿Qué pasó ahora? ¡Ah, Alexi! Estaba poniendo una cosa en un video, pero no debe de poner. Bro. This guy, no, just fix the problem that you just did. You hit it up front, fix it. <laughs> Galaxy! You see what happens? You see what happens? See what happens? You see, you get it all here, people. They get the real deal. See that? I'm making them squirm now. <laughs> all right. Madalena. Dale, bro, dale, come on, bro. We're trying to show people how we do this. Okay. All right. You see how he's marking everything? Essentially, everything to the bottom. All right. So that's. So once we take off the tube, we already know where we're at. All right. So we just took it off the boat. We took the tube right back off the boat and we put it back here um, and we're going to start working now but I want you guys to see now the actual markings that we did, okay? Which would be the markings that you have to do, alright? See you there, alright? But, Ustedes están hablando de una novela aquí en... No, Dios mío, yo no puedo, yo no puedo seguir aquí, bro. ¿Tú, ¿Tú también te prestas para eso, Wally? No, una novela, es un TV show. Un TV show es una novela, bro. No, es una novela, es un TV show. Oh, my God, listen. I can't even, I can't even do, I can't even do a serious show here anymore. When was the last time you had your menstrual cycle? Tell me the truth. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Oye, José. ¿Cómo está la novela? Dime la verdad. Está Sí, está bueno. Sí, ¿quién se murió? <laughs> All right, guys. So they're talking about a soap opera. I mean, I didn't expect that one, but you know, it happens. It happens here at Alamar. Alamar! Uh, all right, guys. So we're going to do three and a half inches. We're marking. Yeah, uh, three and a half centimeters. Sorry. All right, guys. Three and a half centimeters. All right. So normally we, we do about three to three and a half. All right. So check it out. All right. the line is not going to be straight and you fix that with the tape. Alright. Alright guys, so you get the gist of what's going on here, alright? We'll go all the way around, all the way to the end, marking Three and a half centimeters. We got Jose there taping off the front. Now this will be already installed. We'll put these. Uh, what you essentially got to worry about when you're doing this is we will send you all the tapes so that you can mark it yourself and then install the tapes and we'll show that procedure too. You got to keep in mind you have to sand the hole down, make sure you get all the glue off. but. The fit is is what's really important, okay? So you guys make sure you mark everything right and then you know, I guess try to figure it out because Atrás cuatro y cinco, cuatro, cinco, fuera y cinco. All right. Now four, what was it? What was it? Four and five? Four on the outside and five on the inside. What are you going to do now first? So here on the back is four, on the outside. And on this side. And then five on the inside. Right, so that one is what, five? Five. Five on the inside. Yeah. Four on the outside, five on the inside. Okay, so four centimeters here, five here, and then three and a half was the whole boat, okay? So now, Jose's cleaning it up because he's gonna throw some tape on there now. And he wants to make sure it sticks. Jose's the man, if there's anything good that this guy does is throw tape, you see that, see that? He, that's what he does. He knows how to do tape. Um, the only thing sometimes we have to use the, the, the smallest things in the shop because they're, sometimes if they're too high, he doesn't reach and he gets mad. So. He's following the first top line, okay? See right here? Bro, well, stop talking, bro. It's a church. He's making fun of your lines. That's what he just did, right? It's it fine, it's fine. Better, man. It, I mean, listen. This is every day, every day, Jose. Making a scene here at the shop. Every day.
All right, so the top tape is done. <laughs> I know he was going to do it, bro. You're horrible. It's, it's a horrible human He was ya empezando. He was going to start his crap. He's a horrible human being. <laughs> Three, two, yeah. one. Overheating. Overheating. No, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but, but I have my phone in the freezer for about an hour. so It's actually cold. Um, these guys suggested I put a couple ice cubes in the back of the of the phone. Maybe that'll make it not get heated. Dale, bro, dale, come on, man. We gotta, we gotta do it before lunch. Vamos a hacer todo. Let's do it. I'm down like the trash on a Monday. All right, there we go. All right, so the top one's done. Now we're gonna do the lower one. I got again. Remember the time, the pencil mark is just a guy. Then with the tape, we try to make it as straight as we can. Alright, so you're gonna go around with this. Let me go to show them what Jose is doing over there to prep the boat, okay? Jose is here, sanding everything here, okay? You see all the way up to here. This is what he's sanding down, okay? All this is sanding down. He's using a uh, 80 grit, okay? So this is where we're going to be standing down. Well, what are you doing? What are you doing with a cigarette, bro? Dale vaya, bro. Dale vaya. Dale, go. Let's work. Stop, bro. Stop, 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 stop. All right, Carlos, let them know how to use the sander so they don't destroy the teeth. Very carefully. Yeah, you have to be like... Okay. I think it's time to hold it, it's just meant for all of the teeth. So, all that's just done for me. We're using a what, 120 or an 80? Okay, but we're going to tell them 120 because 80... It's a little bit too much for what we think you guys can do without destroying the tooth. Okay? So, 120 grit, 120. All right, so now he's gonna just follow all throughout the line. Okay? All right, the next step, glue, right? We gotta put glue. Let's go. Put in one coat, this is the first coat. We're gonna put what? Two coats, right? That's what we want them to put. Yep. Two coats. No more because. You can use three coats if you want, but you're gonna lose the center. Okay. And we are using orca glue, okay? So you guys know. Alright Carlos, let them know exactly what, what's going on now so they know. Okay, these tapes 
we will have them in the box shipped to them, right? Already with the first kind of glue. It'll have one coat of glue already, so all they're gonna need to put is one coat more, and that's it. And, and the two other things. And what? And the two coat of glue. Obviously here, okay? So, remember, this is gonna have one coat already on there, and then you're gonna have to do your own coat here, okay? Which is two coats here, and two coats on the tapes that we're gonna have in the box already pre-sanded, ready to go. All right, now this is the second coat. Second coat. All right, and now, essentially, when we've shown them how to put the tape, that's it, right? And then they just gotta go ahead and put it onto the boat. Carlos, let them know what's going on. Okay, explain to them what this uh, about the bow here. Yeah, this thing right here, it doesn't need to come out before we do the attachment here. Because then, then it will make it difficult. Why you put the tape and take it off? Because here it's going to go with the holding tape. It's going to go past the two car and attach to the fiberglass. Okay. I don't know if you guys heard that. But we're going to show you exactly what he just said. All right, guys. Okay, explain to them what's gonna be sanded there so they know, okay? All right. This is what I mean, if you, if you put it left, the tape here. Once you put this on and you, and you press it down, that tape will never come out. It's gonna take it before. All right. So these have two hands, two coats, and so do the tubes, okay? Now this is eventually gonna wrap around and hold on to the tube. And, I'm sorry, to the hole. Okay, when you glued it, you, just so they know, you only glued half of it. Half of it. Half of it, right? Alright guys, so they're all on, okay? They are all on. And now what Carlos is going to start doing is, you're starting to cut already? Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay. Okay. Alright, so last thing. Carlos, real quick, show them, tell them exactly what we're doing real quick. So just so they can understand what's going on now. You're cutting, okay? Yeah, we're making these cuts just to make it easier. Once we place it on the glass to, you know, attach it to the hole, instead of having this long strip that you can tangle up and stuff like that, you cut it up and it's easy to move it on. Okay, and then this will wrap on and hold on to the hole. Right, so okay. th this is the part, before you glue it onto the fiberglass, this is the part that you're gonna put your first and your second coat together with the, with the two coats you're gonna do on the boat. Okay. So this part is gonna be facing down and then you're gonna put your car in after this glue hole on the fiberglass. Okay, all right. So we're gonna let this dry once we're done here and then in the morning, we're gonna attach it to the boat. Right, we'll leave it like it is now. We're just gonna put a first coat here on this part and leave it until tomorrow. Great, all right, let's do that. So, so after I'm finished putting or uh, doing the cut before I, put my uh, before I put my first coat, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna go with a pencil and do pencil marks here just so I could have that as a guide before I do it. In the it middle on. section, right? Right, okay. right at the center. Right in the center. All right, cool. All right, so look. Edit to the morning. Hey, sure. it's the morning time. No, no, it's, it's going to be morning in a minute. In a minute, in a minute. Edit, baby, the power of editing. We're out of here. Yes. All right, all right, all right. So look at where we're at, all right? All right. I don't know if you can see it. This side is glued. This side is not, all right? This is what's gonna go, and it's gonna overlap onto the hole of the boat, okay? So, let me just come over here to the hole, 
all right yesterday it's a different day now but we sanded all the glue off from here all right we have it taped up so that once we put it on there we just remove the tape all right so here if you guys see that there's a different color it really doesn't matter per se um, because we're gonna have something covering this also there's gonna be a tape that's gonna cover this this is essentially what's gonna be holding the tube okay so um, one of the things that you didn't see um, we worked it in real good with the, the press tool that we use to press it really really, really good okay all these areas making sure you know squeezing it in getting it all good all right and uh, like Carlos explained the reason it's cut like this is it's easier to, to manage once you're gluing it onto the boat okay so there's no glue here you don't need to put glue here all right it's only this half all right which is already glued on all right all these tapes and all that stuff we'll have that installed for you you won't have to worry about that what you're gonna have to worry about is marking the tube and putting this so you guys can install it yourselves okay and like Jose said earlier the most important thing is when you mark the, the tube on the actual boat that you, you you know you mark it really really good okay um, so this is where we're at and now we're gonna start we're gonna put it back on the boat and then we're gonna start working it so we can put it on all right guys so in, in our case we make these all right so but we make it for us let me rephrase that all right so this is what you know boom 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 a lot of elbow grease you know in the edges you hit it get it in there so Wally, no te burles de mí, bro. Dale, enséñale cómo se hace, bro. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, guys. There you go. Look. You guys get the premise. Like an hombre, like an hombre. All right, that means like a man. All right, that, that's, that's, that's basically what I said on camera, but nobody here really understands me if I'm not speaking Spanish. But look, the point is, elbow grease means like an ombre, okay? So, uh, you're not gonna need to do this on your boat because obviously this is just a second skin that we're doing for someone. All right? So this is, uh, Carlos, this is the first or the second coat on this? First coat. First coat and, and the actual double skin. Okay, so, so we're, we're doing, we got 866 Hypalon and we're doing a second skin of 866 Hypalon also, okay? So the bow on this boat is gonna be um, protected. Quick, quick, come here, come here before you go. Just so you can explain to people, okay? Because some people okay. are gonna say, well, why is that white? And, and, and since it's, you know, we're doing two-tone on that, why is it white as opposed to gray? What's the reasoning so they can know, okay? Let them know. That's because uh, to be able to make the bow in two tones, like the rest of the tube, we will have to cut the bow in half and then add another seam. And that's another weak point on the tube. So we'd rather just make the whole bow in white and then do a second skin. Which makes it more, way it's more protective. protection, yeah. yeah. Okay, like it, when we do fishing ribs and stuff like that, we, we, we do a second skin on the bottom also. Yes, also, sir. let them know the dangers of uh, wrinkling and bubbling so they, they know what happens with, with, with second skins, okay? Yeah, what? Uh, normally, but not, in this case, it's not gonna happen because it's just on the bow section, but when you do like a large area on, on second skin, when you do a second skin on a large area, uh, it tends, to, like, when you deflate the tubes and stuff like that, it tends to get wrinkles and bubbles and stuff like that because it's another skin on top of another skin. So, you can have that. But we're pretty good at, at making sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. We can't exactly. promise anything, but we've done it enough to make sure that it, it stays. Yes, sir. Let's do this. Let's go back to let's go back to the boat. All right, um, Jose is taking off the. These are going to be the the tapes inside. Carlos, come here. Because a lot of people might get confused, and we Jose Jose is like, don't even show them that because they're going to get lost. That's right. Just say the truth. He said, you're, they're going to get lost, right? It's not easy. Okay, okay. He says they're not going to be able to do it. And, and Carlos. I, bro, Carlos has the worst shot in my in, in Alamar. 
All right, li li all right, listen, all right. All right, so just so they get, get a better understanding because they're going to see this tape and they're going to wonder why we did this, okay? They're not going to need to do this, this no. one here, okay? No, that one, this one, yes. Yes, but... But not, not before it's glued on onto the... Because we're going to put them on now beforehand. Yeah. Okay, what we're recommending is get the, the boat installed first and then put the inside tapes. Yeah, because he, he could run it up and do it, you know, just one person. The way we're going to do it now... There's multiple people. There's three yeah. people here. Exactly. Because if not, the, the tape is going to get tangled. Ah. It's going to, you know, it's going to get glued by itself, and it becomes, you know, uh, uh, difficult. It becomes, it becomes a nightmare, actually. Okay. Just by one person. So, so that's why Jose didn't want nobody to see it. Okay. All right. All right so, let's get this process on. We already glued the insides, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put the tapes on now. Um, once we're done here with with the carrier guy and then we'll go to the next step okay like I said you guys will skip this step but we're still showing the procedure of how we're doing it um, you do it. if you still want to do it you're welcome to do yeah it. but then they mess up the tube and then they say that we made a tube that sucks but then they will call and we'll go there and do the installation okay well all right I didn't take it that way <laughs> and, uh, I'm just kidding people we, we look we don't we don't want missions we don't want missions we, we, we want to show you guys, but we don't want you guys to be on a mission because then you guys put us on a mission. And then, you know, once you don't, once you're not happy and then you mess up the tube and then all of a sudden we got to fly somewhere and, you know, it, it becomes difficult. Mañana yo voy a salir más temprano de la casa. Voy a ir allá abajo de la casa de él y le voy a ponchar todos los carros que tiene. Well, guys, he just said that I'm, I'm an amazing human being. All right. He says I'm a super amazing human being. All right. All these already have two 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 coats of glue as well, okay? So people are going to say that you guys are are doing this a little faster than what you should. That's why you're doing it, right? We got no time to waste. Hey, Carlos, I think Jose's winning, bro. Hey, the phone, the phone, the phone. Oh, he's, oh, he's shorter. It's easier for him. Oh, you know, I didn't see it that way. What? Wait, wait, I think he heard me. Guys, remember the tube right now is upside down, okay? <laughs> Como? Oye, no, no empiece, bro, no empiece. Que hay millones de gente que han visto los videos de Alamán. Sí. Ya yo sé lo que te pasa. No te has fumado los 33 cigarros ya en la mañana. All right. All right. Well, bro. Madera, madera, Come on. madera, madera. Come on. Acuérdate que ella es sencilla. All right, all right, guys. Just like Wally said earlier. Nice elbow grease like an ombre. Hey Carlos, is that like an ombre? Uh, so so. The, the, the next time I come back, then it's gonna be like an ombre. Hey, there's child labor laws with this guy here. I mean, we we first, we first need. First time we wanna go slow. Hey, child labor laws. I forgot about that. We can't have uh, this young. Hey Jose, how old are you? Cuarenta. Cuarenta. No. It's so funny. One day Carlos, one, one day Carlos took all the all the steppers at the shop. Where are the steppers at? And uh, Jose came back and he called in sick. He was like, "I'm not, I'm not coming to work anymore." Oh, a telephone! No, it died. All right, guys. The only reason why he's putting tape on here, okay, right here now, is because he's putting glue on there, 
and in most cases this will be done by by themselves you know solo so he just puts the tape up here and he just holds this back so Jose doesn't like they, they hate when I'm all up in their business dude we have to show them what's going on if not they call us and we have problems I mean one of our biggest concerns is when people see the videos and then they think they can do this because they they are quote handy I get it people there's a lot of people that are handy but there's a lot of experience here all right guys so the second thing skin we we're talking about obviously you guys won't have to worry about this but I'm I'm gonna show it on the video anyway so the customer sees exactly what was done so we're gonna put that on right Second skin, baby. That thing becomes so difficult to penetrate. Hooks, anything. Second skin of A66. Yeah, no, two, two, there's double A66. Double A66. You, you know, I think the Tremendo Raft is like the only boat that has three layers of, of uh, A66. That means it also has a carbon fiber, right? Yeah. No. Alright guys, like I said, this is not that's this is not something that you need to worry about. But we're putting it on here so you guys can see more or less the whole cosmetic phase of this, so a second skin and instead of having a weak point we're making an extra strong point. So that's why if you decided to ever do two-tone tubes, okay, it costs more money it's, because it's more work, okay? So when you see two-tone tubes out there, just know that somebody spent more money on them. And, and more than likely, they're going to have second skins on certain areas. Here's when it gets dicey. Where Jose is the man. See, this is why we don't recommend you guys do this. <laughs> a razor blade on a brand new tooth. Bam, but look at that. Look how finished. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's no substitute for experience, people. Somebody's waiting for lunch. Oh, look <laughs> what just got there. I said waiting for lunch, the lunch truck has just got there. Well, I guess you guys know what time it is. Jose, whoever says that you suck and you don't know how to do this, I swear, they've been lying the whole time. They've been lying the whole time. Jose's a man, baby, look at that. What a cut, Carlos. You guys, put a little bit of tape now. Remember, this has nothing to do with the install, but but this is just you know part of the tube making. So now we're gonna sand it down. All right. Everything now, so that once we put it onto the boat and we put the other tip uh, strip, we will we'll be fine. All right. And that second skin, this part right here, once we put it on the boat, when we turn it over, that's when we'll cut that in and have that ready to go. All right? All right, so all the tapes, now we can take them off, okay? This side, this side is, is taken off. Like I said, guys, remember, since we don't like to waste any material, 
This does not matter if it's white or gray like it is over there, okay? This is not going to be seen. This is exactly what's going to be holding the tube, all right? All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. Very, very important, okay? All right. Very, very important, okay? So now we have to remove. We gotta, we gotta put the same amount of air that was put on when we marked it, okay? That's what we're lining up right now. All right. So Carlos is doing it on one side, and Jose is doing it on the other. So we get a better understanding what's going on here, okay? All right, so the first side is done, okay? Okay. All right, guys. All right, All right. you guys see that? Okay, all right guys. So this is what's going on right now. All right, now you guys see exactly why we, we did this, why there's small pieces and small cuts. Okay, remember this is already has its, its coat of glue and uh, Jose just deflated a little bit more so we can get in there. Better, let me try to get it out of the way. You're good? All right. All right. The last bit is all right, he's pulling down pretty hard, making sure that gets on there real good. Okay. Make sure you put it on the on the line that you already made, all right? Hey, wake up, man, come on. All right, so that is what essentially is gonna hold you to. Pro tip, pro tip, make sure you deflate the boat to the same um, inflation, whatever you, when you marked it, you have to have the same amount of air that you had when you marked it at first. Any other pro tip? Carlos? Just what well, Jose's doing right now. Jose's cutting it right now. guys so he's cutting it okay remember that still has to have another tape that covers that particular area and that's why we said earlier that it that's did called, yeah from here to here. yeah and, and that's why I, I told them earlier that it doesn't matter whatever color those tapes were before because the other tape is going to cover all right it's going to cover that area there all right, now Carlos is coming back, making sure that he goes ahead and, you know, in Spanish we call it madera over here. I mean, especially, basically we're putting with some elbow grease on that, making sure that everything is, is nicely put on.
All right, guys. So, essentially, that's the hardest part. Now, we still have to do the tapes inside, the tapes uh, outside, but you're getting the gist of what needs to be done, okay? And now, all these pieces will be in the tubes for those of you that need to to do this particular service yourself or want to do it yourself. Wally! Uh, he thinks it was slick. He's doing a Zodiac tube right now. I got a video on that going on too. So, But, but yeah, I want, I want you guys to see this whole, all this, so you guys can get a better understanding. My phone hasn't turned off yet, guys. No se ha Hey, what are you doing, bro? I thought you, I thought you were trying to stab me. Don't be stupid. How cool is it, huh, guys? You guys get to see exactly what's done, how it's done. Now, I mean, I, I, I said it in the beginning, and I'll say it again. Um, if you can have a professional do this, we highly recommend you let a professional do this. I mean, you see Jose that went ahead and just cut that with a blade on the Hypalon tube. Not anybody could do that. If you look at the tube here, it's, you know, it's very, you know, soft. Okay, let me give you another example here. All right, so remember the strips that I told you guys about earlier? Okay, we don't recommend you guys do them like that. We recommend that you guys, you know, have the center down and place them from here to here, okay? Because it's going to be much easier for you guys to do it that way. Uh, so, because like I said, uh, and, and Carlos says, it gets much more difficult. But everything's on already, okay? Now, what we do is we put the these tapes on, okay? And uh, Carlos is there brushing it off, all the uh, dust and stuff like that. Because what are we going to do now, the inside? Or, or what are we going to... All the inside tapes now? Yeah. Okay, so so that's where we're at. We're still a little bit deflated, and uh, and then we're good. So let's continue the process. You guys are figuring out how this is done, so you guys can uh, eventually do it yourself, especially those that don't have options. All right, guys. So Jose uh, just deflated the tube completely. Okay. So we can grab that bottom tape. All right. So guys, all right. Now, if you didn't defeat the boat, you'd be you'd be hating life right now. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. So here's the second coat. We just uh, pulled that out. Uh, obviously, a mission, but you know, we put it, and now we're putting it all on this second coat, so we can go ahead and put it on. All right. So now what, what becomes a mission is when it starts sticking on and all that stuff, when that glue gets good, when it, when it gets to the right consistency, that's when it starts becoming a problem, okay? Do it over here. Uh, and every boat's a little different, so you know, you'll see differences. And And you notice how he kept that other side that's glued on away from the glue because if he puts it on the glue, it's a mission to take it out. Mission, mission, mission. He kind of left it in the crevice in here, okay? Let me show you what I mean. Okay, you see how it's, see how it's 
it's not on, okay? It's, it's on the side where it has no glue, okay? All right, and now, Okay, now we'll get there and you know give it good uh, you know elbow grease on the on, on the paste and then from there we uh, we cut it. There you go, ladies and germs and gentlemen. See that? All right, that's what you will be receiving in the box. Okay. Oh God. Oh God. I got I got nobody here helping me right now. Me and Wally, and it's really early. Okay, so essentially, all right, you got an understanding of what goes on here, all right, and then this goes all the way. Oh shoot, I don't want this to stick. Okay, guys, so this is what's gonna come all throughout the bottom, and you're done. Okay, so guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you guys decide to get a tube want to install it we have an app that we use called voxer that we will go ahead and give you play-by-play -play information you know real time once you need some help and uh, with this tutorial we'll be able to help you guys so guys so the tapes are inside they're done okay now just so you know we're gonna we gotta clean everything up we're gonna do all the cleaning and all that good stuff guys if you still want to continue seeing this restoration there's going to be a link above or maybe at the end of the video so you can continue seeing not just this boat but the full restoration of when we got in and all the good stuff okay so thanks for watching make sure you like make sure you subscribe we're out of here and uh listen i'm going to repeat it again if you have the option of having somebody do this it's probably better if you let them, but if you don't have any options, this is why the this video was made. And for you guys that like to maybe do stuff on your own. Hey, hopefully maybe you guys go ahead and learn about this and we can get more installers throughout the nation. And uh, you guys can make a little bit of side money too, so. All right, guys, we're out of here. Alamar, Wale! Dile algo ahí, dile algo ahí, la gente! It's just me and Wale today, guys. Hey, we're out of here.